Introducing the GD4200 USB Dynamic Pressure Transducer from ESI Technology Limited. This short video will demonstrate and show you a step-by-step -step process of installing the software, connecting the transducer, and using the software's features. The software can be downloaded free from the ESI Technology website. The username and password can be found on the card inside the USB box. Input the username and password. Follow the instructions through Setup Wizard. The software will open automatically. If not, you can open it via the ESI USB icon on your desktop or by locating it in the Start menu. When the software is first run, it will check that the latest version is installed. When it confirms software is up to date, click OK. Using the cable provided, connect the Mini B USB to the mating socket on the top of the transducer. Plug the Type A USB connector on the other end of the cable into a USB port on your PC or laptop. A pop-up will appear saying that a new device has been attached. Would you like to run Find Sensors to detect any new sensors? Click Yes to run Find Sensors. The software will identify the sensor and briefly display the sensor details before returning to the monitor screen. Select Pressure Units, Pressure Format, Temperature Units, Pressure Interval and Temperature Interval from the drop-down menus. There is also an option to read in absolute pressure. A barometric reading will need to be entered before starting a test. To do this, select the ABS gauge icon in the Settings section at the top of the monitor screen. Here the barometric reading can be entered. For normal use, select Gauge from the drop-down menu. Click on Zero Sensor to remove any offset error. The screen will confirm the sensor selected and whether you want to zero the sensor. Click Yes, then OK when the sensor has zeroed. This should be done before each test. You are now ready to begin your test. Click Start to begin. As you apply pressure to the transducer, you will see the reading displayed digitally. Directly above your pressure reading, you will see the duration of the test displayed in real time. The temperature of the sensor is also displayed. You can pause the test at any time if you need to. Click on the graph tile to see the data displayed in the form of a graph. To view the temperature reading on the graph, check the show temp option. To change the parameters of the graph, click the settings tile in the graph section at the top of the screen. To terminate the test, you can click the stop button here or on the monitor screen. From the file manager window, you can access saved files and also export your data in Excel or CSV format. The calibration screen shows the calibration data of the transducer for information only. At the top of the screen, select the Settings tile. The field names relate to the custom fields in your report template. You can change them to match the existing headings for the custom fields on the template. You can alter the output folder for where you would like the report to be saved to. 
Click OK to exit this screen. Select Generate in the Reporting section at the top of the screen. You will be able to fill in the relevant details for each of the custom fields on your template. Then select OK. Your report will appear as a Word document, which is automatically saved by the software to your chosen location. The file name will be date and time stamped. You can customise your reports by adding your own logo and customer details. Please contact the sales team for more information.